Yosuke Bone Crusher Nishijima, 32, 6 feet tall, 211 pounds, making his debut in Pride Fighting. The Samoan monster Mark Hunt is 30, 5'10, 292 pounds, 3 and 1 record in Pride Fighting Championships. Boss, 292 pounds against a fighter who was 211 pounds. It is the main event of Pride 31 at the Saitama Super Arena, and you hear the crowd react. That's because Nishijima is allowing the four point attack. Wow. Talking about some cojones there. We talked about his world travels in preparing for his debut. Mark Hunt says he's going to submit Nishijima with a flying armbar, boss. <laughs> all right, all right. He was smiling when he said it. Says the good thing about being heavy is that he can crush the takedown. And here comes Nishijima out of the shoot. And I think that's going to be the game plan of Mark Hunt. Low kicks. Nishijima says he won't go down with the low kick, and the crowd here at Saitama Super Arena cheering on the native son as Mark Hunt takes it to him with a knee strike. And everything he does is fast and powerful. Mark Hunt coming off a victory over his rival Mirko Krokop, and that knee. He just throws him away. And Nishijima now starting to play some games with him, almost challenging him to knock his block off. Oh, that right he does it. That's not very wise on the part of Nishijima, is it? Look, 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 Mark is taking him down. Double leg. Side control by Mark Hunt. And he's probably going to climb on top and mount 292 pounds. Trouble. Remember when we saw him make his debut against Hidehiko Yoshida, 2004, showed some natural MMA instincts on the ground, boss. And since then, of course, has worked on his ground game. We'll see the uh, fruits of his labor here. Yep, now it's for Nishijima. He's in that same situation that he was, that Hunt was against uh, uh, Yoshida-san. He should try simply to step over and go for the mount position because with his weight, it's going to be very different. Ah, there we go. 81 pound weight difference. Mark Hunt right now in the full mount position. And Nishijima now will have to try to avoid some ground and pound. Cross face here would be really good, and then choose, just push yourself away, create some distance, and then, then start wailing away. That's what Mark Hunt should do right now. In Japan, the very knowledgeable fight fans like to see boss their their warriors, their heroes tested when they make their debut in the fight game. And and I don't think you can get a bigger test than Mark the Samoan Monster Hunt. But this is an opportunity for Yusuke Nishijima not to just test the waters, but dive into the deep end of the talent pool here in Pride. Yep, and especially now, look at this. Oh, Mark was holding the ropes for his balance. Oh, and that's why they Senior restarted. Senior referee Yuji nice. Shimada is going to restart them. Oh, in the center of the ring. And it's going to be okay. in the center of the ring. In the mount position. He should right away start doing the same thing. Sit up straight and start hitting. Use the strength that he has. There's the ground and pound. Hammer fist. Look at this. Ah, unbelievable. Yeah, for Hunt. Look at, listen to the audience. Oh, it's headed to the left hook. Oh, and he gets tagged with a counter right and a knee. And a low kick. Welcome to mixed martial arts. This is with that left hook. And again, we we said going in, Nishijima would have the speed, obviously. But so far, Hunt has tracked them down. And those knees now, boss, also beginning to take their toll. You could tell by the way Nishijima was jumping up and down, trying to shake off oh. the pain. Nice jab. And another one. Another one. We've got ourselves a fight here in the main event of Pride 31. I don't want to say it, but I do going to say it, Mark Hunt is breathing heavy. 
See, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and Nishijima looks pretty up. This is what the uppercut, oh, there's the knee, though, and Mark Hunt knee. utilizing his MMA arsenal. Nishijima trying to work the jab. We saw Kazushi Sakuraba prior to the match give last minute instructions to Nishijima. He worked with Sakuraba Takata Dojo, goes downstairs with a body shot, tries to come upstairs, is stopped with that counter left. Yep. Oh, and that right rocked him. Another knee there. Those knees are taking its toll. You can see it, you can tell it. Look at comes back with a jab. They are exchanging jabs. Oh, and a, what a high kick by Mark Hunt. And there's an attempt at a knee by Nishijima. This is an entertaining affair to wrap up Pride 31, boss. Crazy. I, I thought this fight was going to be like two minutes, but it, no. It's a night where you cannot think of anything. Expect the unexpected at Pride 31. Shoots up that left jab again. Nishijima trying to cover up his body boss trying to he knows those knees hurt he doesn't and there's another knee that backs him up and puts him to the canvas and this could spell trouble for Nishijima yeah this could be the end if he connects with one of those hard hands it could be the end one of the most feared strikers in MMA Mark Hunt dropping those right bombs on Nishijima but credit all oh, misses with that kick Nishijima is a survivor Talking about and the they are going, spirit. you better believe it, the fighters are going to be brought back up to their feet, and the fans here are on the edge of their seats. They're Look Japanese boxing hero Nishijima. He's got the reach advantage, and he's using it. Giving Mark Hunt a run for his money. Hunt trying to cut off the ring. Rock him with that lap hook. Nishijima wobbles. Along the ropes. Oh, and that oh, right and left oh, combination. He's still nice. standing, but for how much longer? Oh, oh and, and a kick. kick. And a kick back. He doesn't want to stop. Again, proof positive the greatest athletes in the world are mixed martial artists, boss. Here is a fighter who came from the world of boxing, a champion, but again, mixed martial arts, a different kettle of fish, and look what he's been able to at least survive against one of the world's best in Mark Hunt. Unbelievable. I know, I say it a lot, but this is a night to say that word a lot. Side control by Hunt. He's Would be wise to first figure four. Look, wise to go for some knee strikes. Now in the north south position. Will he be tacking the head? Nice escape there by Nishijima. Turn it back, avoiding the knee. There's one. And again, we've yet to really see what kind of a ground fighter Mark Hunt is. You know, we kind of quipped that he was going to submit him with a flying armbar. Yep, he was looking there for a side choke, but uh, Nishijima pulled it out right away. And whoop, knee to the face there. Mark Hunt shouldn't do this. With the weight difference, boss, what does a referee look for? Who does he does he give the the fighter on the bottom if he's a lower weight a, a he's benefit going, of the doubt because of what's happening here? Because there's not a lot. Hunt is looking for the armbar. for the Americana. Yep. He no, and again, he's out, Nishijima. This is great. And again, he looks for that figure four. Brings the hand, has to bring the hand to the hip. Oh, talk about, again, boss, with that weight difference. The weight difference uh, is a major it, factor right, right now. Right, but from a referee standpoint, if a fighter on top is just lying there and stuff, is he going to bring it up faster, knowing that, uh, or that's yes, what I ask? If he doesn't move, but you know, as you can see, Mark Hunt, he is going for everything. North, south position, it looks like he's going to go for an armbar now. He's going to step over. That would be unbelievable if he would do that. I mean, he trapped the arm. He should step over, looking for that arm bar. And again, he's looking for it yet. Wow. Nishijima doing his best to survive as we are into the final two minutes of round one. And another bigger four attempt there. Oh, a straight arm bar. He tries it all. And Nishijima able to avoid it all thus far a very interesting main event a wonderful way to wrap up 
a wonderful night of fights. You talk about high drama in Saitama. It is Pride 31, the Saitama Super Arena. Mark Hunt now going on the double knee drop. We saw the atomic butt drop on Vanderlei Silva. Shockwave. How cool is this? Bombs away indeed. Wow. Mark Hunt knows how to entertain the crowd. And Nishijima, this is unbelievable. What a debut for him. I mean, he's getting picked apart, boss, but he's showing that spirit. One minute left in round number one. Who would have thought it would go this far? So much for making predictions yes. in MMA land. Anything can happen in Pride Fighting Championships, and that left hook was delivered with bad intentions. I'm telling you, Mark Hunt, I know he's got a real hard head, but a hook like that can do the trick. If it's right on the button, <laughs> and he Hunt might go said, down. if Nishijima hits him right on the button, he'll get knocked out like anyone else. He's a realist. He, he knows what the fight game is all about. Oh, there he walks up with that left hook, and look at Nishijima. Mark Hunt, oh, Mark Coleman, Mark Hunt looks tired. He looks tired. And Nishijima now it. coming back in the final 15 seconds of the first round. Nishijima beginning to go to work. Using his boxing technique to the body and upstairs. Oh, look at this. And Hunt is tiring. What a fight. Kazushi Sakuraba right here beside us. He's on the edge of his seat. This Whoa. is unbelievable. What a tremendous first round for Nishijima and Hunt. You talk about a war. You're getting it at 531. Oh, Hunt is tired. You can't see it at home, ladies and gentlemen. But he walks to his corner. He is really gassed. Boss, people who question an open weight tournament now with the way the sport has evolved. They, they, that argument is out the window yeah, with fights like we're having tonight. Bye-bye weight classes. This is unbelievable, and Mark Hunt, he is definitely fatigued, boss. And for Nishijima, will that last 30 seconds, that, that's got to motivate him a bit. That's got to oh, give him yeah. some momentum. He's got to give him some wings. And his corner will tell him now. Yeah, as we're looking here at the replay, but his corner will instruct him, listen, man. He's getting tired, you gotta put the pressure on. And look how fast he's back on his feet. Boom, and there's the other left. He's got a good left hand. Look at this, double that knee is, drop. Oh! There's one for the highlight reel. Almost, <laughs> almost hung himself on the rope there. Yeah. Unbelievable for Mark Hunt though, likes to pull out those tricks and why not? Kazushi Sakuraba turned it into a legendary career and Mark Hunt is a legendary warrior. Oh, and he dropped him with that shot, boss. And a knee to the face. Whoa. You know, just when you think Pride Fighting Championships has done it all, boss, it, a night like tonight unfolds and uh, it really just illustrates the beauty of the sport of mixed martial arts, the greatest athletes in the world in this ring. Yep, and here you can see the fatigue is kicking in for Mark Hunt. Look, his defense is gone, he's turning his back. Not a good sign, but he's been there before. Boss, seriously, has not Nish Nishijima already made himself a superstar of here course. in the state of Japan oh, with the first course. 10 minutes of this fight? Hey, listen, he stole my heart. That's one thing for sure. In, 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 in a different way. Hey, hey I was going to, I was going to quote a Celine Dion lyric for you. My heart will go on. All wow. right, round number two.